Hello everyone, greetings from Pakistan. I'm a Halabi Hats from Israel. Hi, my name is Aliash, I come from Slovenia. I am Doris Fatima Weber. Hello everyone, I am Lucy Kolnikova. I live in Opava in the Czech Republic. I participated in the IDLP program in September and I've been chosen to represent my country in the Country of the Month November. That's why I really love to thank MCID for choosing me because it's been a great, great honor for me. This is my first time recording a video about myself and I think, and for now I feel like it's the last one because I'm really really nervous so i apologize for any inconvenience i will hit my cross you and maybe that's the reason i'm not here alone behind the screen there's my daughter vicky and our dog Akin. thank you for understanding and for your patience first i'll tell you about my job i work as a high school teacher i teach at secondary school of machinery engineering and art in opava where i teach students from 15 to 19 I teach English as a second language, Czech, literature and civics. I'm also a member of the organization called Teachers Platform. We are a professional organization of teachers and principals. We try to communicate our experience and insight from teaching practice. We comment on the educational programs and school legislation. And through regular appearances in the media, we cultivate a discussion about education in public space which we find very important. Maybe you would ask why I chose this job. I would say it's quite simple. Since I was a child, I have loved learning in school and I still do. However, growing up, I liked school less and less since not all the teachers I've met were perfect. And actually, there have been some really bad ones. And as I always believed that a change is possible, that I can make things better, I decided to become a teacher myself and to try to change the school system from the inside. I have never regretted this decision. Actually, I love being a teacher. It is my passion and life mission and I cannot imagine a better job. Maybe you would ask what I love about the job. The answer is simple. I love young people. I really love being around young people. I love talking to them, I like discussing all the things they find interesting, I love listening to their opinions and I really believe in their power to change things. I simply believe in youths. All the students, my students or young people around me have proven so many times that they are interested in what is happening in our world. And why I'm saying this? Because I can hear a lot of people saying that this young generation doesn't care at all. They just care about the, themselves, but not about the world. Which I find is a lie, because uh, they have proven otherwise to me. Uh, and they have proven that their opinions matter and that they are worth being listened to. Sometimes it happens that adults don't listen to them. But my experience is that the more you listen, the more you see how clever they are and how ambitious actually they are. And this is connected to what I think or consider my main role as a teacher to be a student's partner in the educational process, their eye opener, their support, and their friend at the same time. My best moments of my IVLP experience, one of them was meeting 12-year-old Lila Hartley from, from Florida. Lila Hartley is a 12-year-old student who was able to change her school policy about wearing masks in her school. It was simply amazing for me. I was so touched by her action that I told my students about her. We watched videos, we read some articles about her and then we had a huge discussion about her. I would say that my students were genuinely surprised with Lila's accomplishments. At the end I asked my students 
If Lila was able to change things in her school, why couldn't you influence the things that matter to you here in the Czech Republic? And maybe this question stayed in their heads and maybe they said to themselves, yeah, I really can influence things here. It's just up to me. It is up to me whether I try it or not. So since then, I do not miss an opportunity to tell my students and young people that they have the power to do anything they want. I try to persuade them that they are really capable of doing and changing things. I know that it sounds cliche, but there is the future in our young kids, in our young people, and we should persuade them and we should support them in changing things. Another striking moment of what I've learned uh, from my IDLP experience is the incredible community spirit Americans share, which is something I miss in my country and which is something I would really love to have here so much. I would dare to say that we Czechs feel we are not the ones who get to call the shots here. Uh, we sometimes, or I sometimes hear other people saying we are not really able to change anything important. But, as I told you about the example of Lila, and I experienced several examples on my own, we have the power to change things. And we just need to want to. We just need to be willing to change things. And I think changes always start on a local level, on a community level, and that's what I will take from my IDLP experience to my life, not only personal but professional life, taking the thinking about the community spirit and promoting community spirit here in my country. One other great moment of my IDLP experience was actually the invitation to the reception held by the Chargé d'Affaires at the US ambassador residence. It was the first time I attended such an official event. At the reception I met former IDLP alumni and I could speak to some of US diplomats. And this reception had two positive outcomes for my school. The first one was that a few American diplomats promised to come to my school to talk to my students, have a debate on American culture, society and their values. And second uh, outcome was that a former IDLP alumnus who works for a non-governmental organization now promised to come to school and have a discussion or a lecture uh, with my students too and he promised to give a lecture on um, democratic principles of governance in our country which I think is very important and maybe another example how the students can be involved in the government in the things happening here in the Czech Republic. I mentioned my students a lot of times and now I should say something about the Czech Republic itself because I think all these things are connected because students were born in the Czech Republic and I think to understand the Czech nature a little bit more you must visit the country. The Czech Republic, uh, which is also known as Czechia, is definitely worth visiting. I think, and I'm not the only one who says that it is an incredible country in the heart of Europe, where everybody gets what they want and what they like. History lovers can visit one of 2,000 castles or chateaus, or the largest ancient castle in the world, which is the Prague Castle, the residence of our president. Countryside lovers will love hiking in the mountains, which offer spectacular views of unusual rock formations and mysterious deep valleys, meandering rivers, or tranquil lakes surrounded by ancient forests. Sports lovers can visit birthplaces of the most famous ice hockey and tennis players, such as Jaromir Jader or Martina Navratilova. Safety lovers will be happy to read that the Czech Republic is the eighth safest country in the world. So good news, you are safe here. Nothing dangerous can really happen to you. And science lovers surely know that soft contact lenses were invented by a Czech chemist Otto Lichtle and Bohdan Pomahač, a Czech plastic surgeon 
was the first one to perform the full face pantomimes. Culture lovers will definitely love to see our beautiful national theatre built in the 19th century and its actors performing one of the plays written by our first democratic president, Václav Havel, whom you might have seen or heard when giving his speech in front of the, in the United Nations. Our fun lovers will experience our specific sense of humor and chat over a few or rather to your famous book, Czech Beer. That was just a tip of an iceberg of interesting things and people you can find here in the Czech Republic. So do not hesitate when traveling around Europe, you definitely must visit the Czech Republic. Thank you and see it yourselves. Bye.